as it nears time to kill our pigs and put them in the freezer, our minds turn to preparation. Old venison from the bottom of the freezer we're feeding to the dogs to make room for new meat. The chickens have a new run by the barn. Checking for eggs. The two female pigs are happy and dry and have been in these last few wet weeks. I picked up the yard this morning with the kids. Little bits of trash, lots of toys. The kids and I made a fire and they couldn't help but resist to cook some potatoes and make some hot chocolate out of water and mud. Baby Wilder tagged along with me today as I checked the animals. Turkin! The bathtub's working great, catching rainwater and continuously giving the animals fresh water. In these last couple weeks of rain, I've been doing my best to keep these pigs in dry bedding and make their last weeks of life pleasant. We've changed their diet some. They're getting more food scraps. Less feed overall, but these last, these two are getting more corn. We're finishing them on corn to sweeten their lard. These two will save for next year, next winter's harvest. I love watching the animals live and enjoy their lives. I can't help but think this hen is savoring her dust bath. There's not only death on the homestead though, there's new life. The goats will kid soon. These bales of hay should last because Brownie's going to the freezer soon too. I love watching the kids. The kids enjoy the process of preparing real food. Hot chocolate's ready. Bree has been cleaning the house while I've been outside. The floors are clean. Looks good. We're making room in the freezers, getting everything ready. I bought this knife, I bought this knife just for pig slaughtering. It's an old carbon steel French knife and I made a sheath for it. We're getting everything ready. I've been reading, I've been watching lots of YouTube videos about properly butchering pigs, about curing meat, about storing meat, not in the freezer. Yeah. 
Here's some venison that I recently salt cured. I'm slicing it for the first time. Here we see the beauty and the sadness of this whole thing. These beautiful animals that ran in the woods are now food, but again, it's a beauty. It's a beauty that it, that it feeds us, that it feeds our children, and does so in a connected and wholesome way. So here's to the upcoming harvest. We're preparing. We're excited. Thanks for joining us.